Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is the 19th of April, 2019. I'm nursing a sore throat. I hope you bear with me. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, there's a play I like. It's a long shot play. Understand, I believe that's where you make your money, right? I pick fights where I believe the underdog is undervalued. You have a fighter here, Christopher Diaz, 24 and 1. Again, 24 and 1. Has power, 16 KOs. Has already fought for a world championship. That was two fights ago, and understand, if you look up that video, I'll try to place it in my favorites folder here. Right when they're announcing the winner of the fight, you can tell that the champ, Masayuki Ito, was worried. You could tell that his camp thought there was a possibility that he had lost the fight. Right? So we're talking about that's Diaz's only loss by decision in a world title match. <laughs> now, boxing really comes down to, in my opinion, spacing, where are the guys in the ring, and pacing, hand speed, how fast can a guy get his offense off? How fast can a guy get his defense up? Diaz is fighting a fighter the public loves, an Olympic silver medalist, a taller guy, <laughs> a guy who's only 21. Diaz is 24, right? There's a huge gap in terms of maturity between 21 and 24. The guy he's fighting is Shakur Stevenson. Now, Stevenson is taller. Stevenson can throw low punches. Diaz will be able to get low. For me, the million-dollar question in this fight and why I believe Christopher Diaz, who's now trained by Freddie Roach, the reason why I believe Christopher Diaz, the plus 650 underdog, has a chance to win this fight outright is because I do not consider Shakur Stevenson to be defensively blessed. And I have a question <coughs> on whether Stevenson, who's taller, who likes to throw punches and have some spacing, I wonder whether he's going to be prepared for the short shots from right here that Diaz is going to be able to throw on him. Diaz, in my opinion, is going to have some clear, and I do mean clear, counterpunching opportunities in this fight. Right, so... As much as I like Shakur Stevenson, and he looks great on film, folks. He looks great on film. As much as I like Shakur Stevenson, a fighter with 10 pro fights who's fought inferior competition compared to Diaz, who recently fought for the world title. Right? A guy who didn't show a lot of power early in his career who's fighting Diaz who's actually losing weight from a heavier weight class I would frown on that if Diaz were older but Diaz is only 24 so his body might be able to take the weight loss I just don't think the public is thinking clearly about this and making Shakur Stevenson, an overwhelming favorite. Right? What more do you need than an opponent with superior experience 
with one of boxing's best trainers in his corner who's going to be low and inside on a taller fighter who might not be able to defensively handle an opponent who can come in low and inside. Right? We take risks at this channel. I'm not here worried about a winning percentage. I'm trying to make a profit. Right? In addition to taking Amir Khan this weekend so I could have a taste of that plus 675 <coughs> in his bout against Terence Crawford which I'm hedging with Crawford by stoppage I'm also this weekend taking Christopher Diaz as a plus 650 that's two picks at better than six to one over unbeaten 10 fight Shakur Stevenson. I'll hedge this play with Stevenson by KO. Understand my real game here <laughs> is to go for the big odds in a fight that I think is a relatively evenly matched fight. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.